Aquarius, hi, welcome to my channel. So today we've got a love reading for you for March 2021. And um, we'll do a nine card tarot spread. But before we jump into the tarot, we'll take three romance angels and three moonology, just to give an indication of the direction of the reading's heading. Uh, as for the tarot itself, left hand side is going to be your energy, right hand side, the person you're dealing with or going to be dealing with, and down the middle will be uh, a combination of the two. We'll take current energies, how you feel about each other, action towards each other, and then we'll have a blockage, advice, and potential outcome. We'll clarify and get something out there. It's not going to resonate for every single Aquarian, so do check out your replacements, your moon, your rising, in particular your Venus, if it'd been a little reading. Um, Thank you once again for like, share, subscribe, comments, everything. Continues the growth. It's much appreciated. So if you haven't done so, please do. And if you want to delve into your own situation deeper, check out the description box for details of private reads. Okay, Aquarius. Energies can reverse, so if you resonate more with the right hand side, just uh, flip the rolls as you see fit. Okay, your current romance angel is calling in your soulmate. <clears throat> Lovely. Your prayers, affirmations and visualisations help bring you together. So, you know, you've been doing your affirmations, you're wanting to uh, to meet your uh, your counterpart who um, you want to spend the rest of your life with. And again, I said this for Sagittarius, I think, yesterday. Um, it's just standing out for me. Um, Dr. Joe Dispenza. He always says, when it comes to the manifesting your soulmate, write down everything that you want from a person, you know, kindness, uh, generosity, just loving, caring, that type of thing. List all the uh, traits that you want in a soulmate and become that person. Because the universe, law of attraction, you attract what you are, like attracts like. So, something to uh, to think about. Um, your person, we have getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So this is going to be, this is somebody you're going to, on a deep, deep soul level, you're going to know with this one, I feel. And between the both of you, pay attention to the red flags, the signs are cautioning you, and I am massively getting there. Um, it's the um, synchronicities. You, you're both seeing things, it's like a mirror effect. You're both going through seeing synchronicities, numbers, names, places, that type of thing. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Become the person that you want. Okay, Aquarius. Let's get some moonology. Calling in your soulmate we have. Don't let your past hold you back. Release the past. Let it go. Getting to know each other, a time for healing. Yeah, I can. I, I genuinely think you're gonna. This person is literally gonna mirror you. The same rubbish that you've dealt with in the past, that they'll have dealt with something similar. There's like a real. An energy I'm feeling here, a kindred sort of um, a connection that's. I almost feel like two empaths coming together here. Pay attention to the red flags we have. The end of a tough cycle approaches. Lovely. Full moon in Capricorn. Capricorn, I have it right in your chart. Bottom of the deck, surrender to the divine. Yeah, this is definitely. You're gonna feel this one. This is gonna touch the deep depths of your soul as this person. Let's see what's going on. Two more. The Ace of Cups, the Five of Cups, and the Wheel. Yeah, you're healing past hurts. You're choosing self-love. Um, and I kind of feel like the Page of Cups is after the Wheel of Fortune as well. I kind of feel like you just, there's this belief now that the things are going to turn in your favour. Um, 
opening up that heart chakra. Yeah, it's definitely a releasing of the past. I did Capricorns this morning and they had something similar about releasing the past. Um, so yeah, there could be a connection there. Uh, your current energy is the Ten of Cups. In fact, I can't remember. A few hours ago now. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm pretty sure Capricorn's person had Ten of Cups in that um, situation. But yeah, so your current energy is the Ten of Cups. You, you know, you could have a family already. Um, but you're in a genuine happy space now. You're at a level where... Not necessarily might be not be in a happy space right now, but you're at a level where you know what you want. You know your worth and you know what you want. How do you feel about your person? It's the Knight of Pentacles. Could be somebody from work uh, for some of you. Um, it could be someone that you've had your eye on for a long, long time. The Knight of Pentacles is a slow mover. I've got the impression here you've possibly released somebody and it may have kicked them into gear. I'm, I'm kind of getting like a... Um, you, you definitely know this person, whoever I'm connecting to. Don't particularly think you've been in a relationship with them, but they're in your vicinity, your surroundings. Your uh, they've been in your life at some point. Because the what you, you you've let this situation go. That's your action towards them. Is the Eight of Swords. Either that, or you don't. You've not seen it. Maybe it's somebody that in in the past you showed interest to, but it was too slow moving. So you let it go. Their current energy is the King of Swords. I kind of feel like they're stepping into their power. Um, the King of Swords. And in this deck, I always see the King of Swords as somebody that's leveled up. He's on the top of the mountain. And, and don't get caught up in genders, I'm just reading the card. Top of the mountain, seeing things more clearly now. We've got the Wise Owl. You know, the Owl uh, has great vision, can see, see clearly. And it's on top of the time for healing. So this person's gone through some sort of healing. Maybe because in the process of you letting them go, they're going some through some sort of transformation. How they feel about you is the Empress. They they see you as the Empress. This is incredible. There's, there's love. There's abundance. There's nurturing. They want to grow with you. They want to collaborate, birth something with you. You they see you as um, parent to their children type of thing. I won't say mother, but you know, because we all have divine masculine, feminine energies. That they they see the world with you. I'm concentrating on the world with the uh, in the pregnant belly here. The action towards you is the page of pentacles. So this is a small offer of commitment. I, I don't tend to think this is something that's coming just yet because there's still a period of um, of healing to do. But the page of pentacles is also a card of reinvention. So they're going through some sort of reinvention. They may have changed their look. They may have um, just viewing things differently. I'm almost getting like here of um, you know, one hand's on her hip and the other one's touching the um, the pentacle. I almost feel like this person is letting go of the material basis of life, realizing that. Material things are literally just that things, you know, not important. Perhaps in the past you've seen them as a knight of pentacles, maybe somebody that was just focused on their money, on their career. They're going through some sort of realization now where it's not that important to them anymore. The blockage is the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords is actually facing here the King of Swords. So I don't think they spoke their truth in the past. So if this is somebody in the past that um, 
maybe you wanted something more from and they didn't they didn't tell you the full reasons why and I don't think it was anything to do with you it's all about them um, but that's the blockage the two of them didn't really come out um, their advice is the four of swords it's a period of healing so it's possibly not going to be so much com um, communication at this stage but the actual outcome of this situation is a chariot this is forward moving and forward moving quickly this is having the drive and determination to go ahead in life in the direction that you want could be packing up and moving on traveling maybe for some of you not necessarily it's not exactly easy at the moment um, but this, this release that you've done has triggered this person into some sort of reinvention and they see you as the empress so it's as if they want to step up into emperor mode now so it will be interesting if we see the emperor jumping out for the clarifiers as well and um, this is a snob uh, swords it's kind of a it's a snobbery pose here with this um, with this lady in the ace of swords picture so I'm not saying like the snobbery involved I'm just thinking maybe that the last conversation was a bit cold for some of you um, an argument maybe something that you've it's caused you to release them anyway Three. Eight of Cups, the Fool, the Ancestor card, Seven of Cups and Three of Cups. Yeah, I, can. I think you've you've gone off to find your happiness. You may well have moved, or are in the process of moving, um, or planning to move. It's definitely um, an indication there. So your current energy is the Ten of Cups with the Ten of Swords. So you may have been married, uh, you may have had the marriage that's come to an end. It doesn't necessarily have to be marriage. Uh, it's, it is on top of the don't let your past hold you back. Um, so there could have been a connection that was long term uh, that's come to an end. It doesn't necessarily have to be with this person as such. Because um, I kind of feel like it, it isn't. I think that's talking about just a past... You've, you've come away from some sort of family dynamic or some sort of um, long-term connection. How do you feel about your person? Is the Knight of Pentacles with the Hangman too slow? They were stuck in their energy, uh, set in their ways, um, sacrificed relationships for career, possibly. Um, your action towards them is the Eight of Swords and the Seven of Swords. You've you released them and can, I kind of feel like you're just walking away. You know, the Seven of Swords is... Um, the two swords are in the ground, two of swords indicating, you know, cutting away, blocking possibly, and you've, um, you're walking away with those five swords, which is, you know, five of swords is a win at all cost type of energy, but I, I just think you've, you've possibly just had enough of this situation, this waiting, um, especially if this uh, communication was not very pleasant the last time around. Your current per your person's current energy though is a King of Swords with the Tower. This walking away from the situation has really triggered them. 
It's giving them a tower moment. They're seeing things from another perspective now. They're levelling up. How do they feel about you? We've got the Empress with the Five of Wands. You've triggered them massively. They see you as the Empress and they're willing to fight for this. There's a lot of passion there and they're willing to um, they're willing to battle with the competition. The action towards you is the Page of Pentacles with the Ace of Wands. They want to offer you this new beginning. There's some serious attraction here. The Page of Pentacles is a is in my sort of good looking card. Um, and the Ace of Wands is the, the picture says it all. Uh, so there's a there's a deep attraction to you here. That they they need to heal to gain the strength to come back properly. And I kind of feel like that's a mystery at the moment as to whether that happens. Which I know is frustrating as hell to hear. But that's all I've got for you. <laughs> Uh, the blockage is the Ace of Swords with the Chariot. So this outcome, this Chariot, this forward movement, uh, could be the blockage. So maybe you've communicated that, you know, you've had enough and you're moving away. You're uh, taking control of your life and moving forward. The advice is the Four of Swords with Strength. Again, take time to heal, meditate, regain your strength, regain your power. And the outcome is the chariot with the moon. So there's forward movement no matter what for you. I kind of feel like the moon is here to signify that you just don't know everything just yet. And you don't need to, you just need to continue on your path at the moment. Um, don't wait around for anybody, continue with your life is the message here. I'm also getting Cancer Moon, so you may have Cancer Moon. Um, or be dealing with somebody with Cancer Moon, just something that's jumping. So yeah, Aquarius. Um, You've, you're choosing you now. you walked away from, released any sort of shady behaviour. You've released this person. You've really triggered them, essentially, uh, to do the work. And, you know, if they do it, fantastic. If they don't, it doesn't really matter because you're, you're striving ahead. Uh, not waiting around for anybody. Good stuff. So there you go, Aquarius. You could be dealing with or having your chart. Scorpio, Cancer, Leo, Taurus, Libra. Cancer, Pisces, very strong Cancer. Gemini, Sagittarius, strong Pisces. But we've got swords, we've got cups, we've got pentacles, we've got wands. Everybody's here, but those are your standouts. Okay. Let me know if it uh, if it resonates. Continue on your path. You've got you've got the bit between your teeth now. In whatever avenue, whether it be work, whether it be uh, just life in general, self love, or whatever you know, got self love at the bottom of the deck. Uh, going to find your dream. Going to find your happiness. You know, bottom of the deck. We've got the eight, Ace of Cups and the Eight of Cups. Eight plus one is the nine. And nine of Cups is a wish fulfillment. So I kind of feel like you're determined to find that at the moment you're determined, determined to find your wish fulfillment in doing so you've triggered somebody from your past however you know the outcome is a mystery because uh, it doesn't really matter your chariot is in full swing they need to keep up okay take care uh, let me know if it resonates and i'll see you soon bye